morning. Mike Marlin from MikeMarlin.net on the way to Talladega Speedway. Sunday morning. The sun's not up yet, but it's going to be. It's going to be a beautiful day. 42 degrees, a little chilly if you ask me. Should be good racing weather though. Probably about 70. Juan Pablo Montoya, Clint Boyer, 1 2, front row. ECR engines, Earnhardt Jonas Racing engines. Program looks pretty strong. Jack Rush is going to have to step it up. Keep pace with those guys today, I think. Qualifying Saturday, big waste of time if you ask me. We spend three hours watching these guys go in circles one at a time, and qualifying at Talladega may be the biggest waste of time in this sport. Heat races, I say, heat races. Qualifying races. Give the fans something to talk about, something to watch. Good finish to the truck race. Saturday, Howard Camarola almost at the line. Kyle Busch sideways, knocked below the yellow line, wins by a nose. Imagine we might have a finish like that today in the Talladega Game 500. Just wonder how many guys are going to be flipping on their lids, though, like Ron Hornaday did yesterday. Todd Bodine and somebody else got into it, and the next thing we know is Hornaday's upside down, sliding down the racetrack. Hey, he's okay, but Talladega's like that. Talladega and Bristol, two places where if you're a driver, you're pretty much at the mercy of somebody else's mistake. How many mistakes today? Last year, remember, everybody played it cool. Not very much action until right there at the end, and then way too much action. Spring race here, wow. The two races seem to have different personalities. I don't know if it's the chase, this is a chase race, or not, but the spring race is always fast and furious, and the fall race here tends to be a little more staid. Um, you can ask Ryan Newman about how staid it gets in the closing laps when you're hanging upside down and you can't get out of the car. We've been looking at the chase for next year, 211, and trying to figure out how to put a little more liveliness into it, a little more spice. And I'm thinking, give a point for each lap led. If you lead a lap, you get a bonus point. 188 laps today, or so, depending on all those green-white checkers, 188 bonus laps. The guy who leads the race the most laps, the guy who puts on the show, he should get the dough. That's what MikeMuller.net says. A point per lap led. Maybe just in the chase, maybe just for the chase guys. We're going to think about that a little bit. It's also a heavy heart today. We lost a good buddy, Jim Hunter. Friday night, died of cancer. Just about everybody in the sport knew Jim Hunter. They got some good advice from him during their careers. He was around for must have been 50 years, I guess. Going back to the 60s, Dodge PR, NASCAR PR, Rand Darlington, up run Talladega, did just about everything. He was a mentor and a counselor to all of us. A good bud. We're going to miss you, Jim. We're going to miss you. Sunday morning, Mike Bolland from MikeBolland.net. Talladega.